We are back in the laundry lab and we are continuing our series on how to wash jeans. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to hand wash your jeans in five easy steps. This episode of the laundry lab is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Visit us at www.aprondiva.com. Why would you want to hand wash your jeans? Well, first of all, they help to protect your jeans. They help to preserve the life of your investment. And when I say investment, jeans can be an investment. They can range anywhere from $25 to $200. They are the workhorse in your wardrobe. You probably wear your jeans more than you wear any other item unless you have a uniform or a particular standard of clothing that you need to wear to work. And you can dress them up or you can dress them down, but jeans are definitely a staple. So hand washing is one of those things you can do to preserve the life of your jeans. Why not just throw them in the machine, which is what most people do, and I will admit that is what I do most of the time. The machine can be hard on the fibers of the jeans. It can beat them up a little bit. So if you can hand wash them, that's the best way to preserve and protect your jeans. So step number one is going to be to turn the jeans inside out and zip them up. And the reason why you turn them inside out is because it's the inside of the jeans that has the most contact with your body. Your body oil, sweat, and that kind of thing. And that's what you're trying to wash away because that's what contributes to the order. So turn them inside out. And then make sure you zip them up and button them up. Now you zip them up because you don't want the zipper to come in contact with any other part of the jean and then end up scraping on them, causing some friction or maybe a little bit of wear and tear. So zip them up. Make sure you check the pockets. I've found many a thing in jean pockets when I've done my laundry. And then you're going to give them a good wash in cold water. Now you can wash them by hand in one of two ways. If you live in an apartment that only has a shower, then you're going to want to use a five gallon bucket or you can use the sink in the kitchen. Otherwise, you're going to want to use your bathtub. Fill the tub with cold water and two tablespoons of laundry detergent. If you prefer not to use laundry detergent, you can use about a half a cup of white vinegar to replace the laundry detergent but you're going to fill the tub with cold water and either add your laundry detergent or your vinegar and give it a good swishing around so that it's nicely dispersed throughout the water. Next, you're going to put your jeans into the cold water and make sure you press them down so they're completely submerged. The water needs to completely cover the jeans and then you can give them a good swish around just gently though with your hands to help to suds out any of the body oils and odors and that kind of thing. And you're probably going to soak them about 30 to 45 minutes. Step four is to rinse. So you're going to drain the water out and then you're going to refill your tub, your bucket, your sink with cold water and push the jeans down in the water and just kind of gently push them down as you try to remove the detergent, any soap suds from the jeans. Drain that water out and repeat until there's no more soap bubbles showing in your rinse water. And step number five is to dry them. Once your jeans are thoroughly rinsed, you're going to dry them. So you want to have two or three large thick towels on hand because you don't want to wring the jeans and end up stretching the fibers, possibly damaging the fibers. And you're also defeating the purpose of hand washing if you're doing all of this wringing. But you're going to pick them up gently from the water, fold them in half, and then you're going to roll them up just a little bit to express some of the water. And then you're going to lay them on the thick bath towels and roll them up in the towel and push down just a little bit to express the water. And then when you feel like you've gotten as much water out as you can, you're going to turn the jeans right side out 
unzip the zipper make sure the pockets are nice and flat on the inside and then either lay the jeans on the towel in an area that is inaccessible and lay them flat to dry and they will just dry that way or you can use a drying rack which is what I tend to do if I'm going to dry them inside the house I'll dry them on a drying rack or if you're in a nice warm climate you can hang them out on the clothesline if you're hanging them on the clothesline you can hang them up by the waistband because you want them to hang in the manner that you would normally wear them if you choose not to lay them flat to dry and you want to hang them over your shower rack that's okay but just make sure that the pockets are nice and flat on the inside and that you unzip them if you want to check out the video on how to wash your jeans in the washing machine i will link it right here what are your laundry challenges tell me in the comment section below and maybe next time we're in the laundry lab i'll be answering one of your laundry questions in the meantime this is denise jordan saying you are not done yet click on the link in the comment section below to check out another episode of in the laundry lab and i will see you next time